Hello everyone, my name is Jesse Penado and I am in Professor Kaleem's class for ethical hacking. The purpose of this video is just to prevent you know users from people that are attack that attack that attack your Facebook or attack your computer using social engineering techniques. So just to prevent you guys and just let you guys help you guys be aware about this, the, the several attacks that can be used against you. <clears throat> now, what is social engineering? Social engineering is just ways people manipulate other people to do certain actions, and, uh, and it's basically like a, a confidence trick to trick people um, that this um, link or whatever that they're sending to you is valid, and then it requires um, the victim to input information, and then the attackers actually get this information from you, and they have all this information. So that's basically how social engineering works. I'm going to be using Backtrack, which is just a software based on Debian and Linux used for penetration testing. It uses many tools to hack certain networks and computers, such as access and vulnerabilities, reverse engineering, and stuff like that. Now, I'm going to be using from Backtrack. I'm going to be using social engineering attacks, some some tools that Backtrack has, and demonstrate it on how to use Facebook and backtrack to hack to hack someone's Facebook or hack their computer as well. Now the first method I'm going to be teaching you guys is I will be sending a link to a friend on Facebook um, on my messaging. This friend is actually a fake Facebook account so don't even try to access this Facebook, uh, this Facebook accounts um, because I'm going to be showing you their password and stuff because uh, it's a fake account alright so don't even try. Um, now this friend will believe this link that I sent him is trusted and he's going to click on it and it's going to require him to log in his Facebook uh, email and password and once he logs it in uh, I see the his login email and his login password so then after that I can just attack his Facebook and do whatever I want with it so you know just then that's basically the first method I'm teaching you the second method is I'm going to be sending the same link but this time I'm going to use a different tool and gather computer information from him, such as what OS he's using, what service pack he's using, and stuff like that. Now, also, I'm gonna also try to gain access to his computer, and then gaining access to his computer, I can delete files from his computer and really create damage to his computer as in general. And this is just using Facebook. So, if you can just imagine what you know the power that you can be doing with this. So, let's get started. first method of basically hacking someone's Facebook. Now let me go into backtrack. Okay. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go into applications, open up backtrack, and go into exploitation tools, then go down to social engineering tools, then social engineering toolkit, and click the first one that says set. Alright. Now it's going to take you to this menu for the terminal. Now what you're going to click on, what you're going to type in, I'm sorry, type in is you type in one for social engineering attacks and click enter. Then it's going to take you to this menu. After here, you're going to go into two website attack vectors. And it's going to take you to another menu. Now you type in three for credential harvester attack method. Now it's going to take you to Three options. You're going to do site cloner because you're going to be trying to clone uh, Facebook.com. So that's what you're going to be doing. Now, here, it's going to ask you to ask for, um, for IP address for Postback and Harvester and Tab Nabbing. Now, this from here, you're going to basically put the IP address, your IP address. So, to know, so you don't know what IP address you're using, <coughs> you type in ifconfig in a new terminal. Once you type it in, you see your Ethernet and your loopback, your loopback number. So you're going to use the Ethernet one. Uh, here's your address. This is the IP address you use. And then you right click it and you click copy. Do not use this one because this is not your IP address. This is your loopback number. You see for ping and stuff like that. I'm going to minimize that and you're going to paste here. Right click there and you click paste. Now you click enter. Now it's going to ask for you to enter the URL to clone. 
you're going to type in http colon slash slash www.facebook.com blah 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 uh, click return now here it says credential harvest is running on port 80 which is for http just letting you guys know now now that you have it all set up you're going to go to applications go into the internet tab and click firefox now from here you're going to go to this website called tinyurl.com in this website um, is basically you're going to convert your IP address into a new into like an actual link so people says so more believable for users to just click the link on they won't click on an IP address first of all so and you're gonna make you're gonna convert that to a link to a URL so that um, the victims can can actually click on it. So you're going to type in your IP address on the same one that you found, which is that, and you click make make tiny URL. Now after that you scroll down and you see this link right here. Copy that. So right click copy that alright now is where the fun begins so I'm gonna go into my Facebook account this is my Facebook account my real one and no I am not gonna give you guys my password oops messed up so this is my Facebook account yep yep wait till it loads up I'm going to change into the mobile one. Okay. Now I want to go into chat because I want to send this to a through an IM messaging. Now I want to send this to the made up account that I made up. I'm going to go into my Windows. This is my Windows now. This is not backtrack anymore. Um so I'm letting you guys know this is the makeup made up account I use so that and the password just letting you guys know is capital D lowercase r lowercase a lowercase j 500 and there and yeah it's clean hack I know <laughs> my professor's name I didn't have time to change that so then here here is his profile now I'm going to go back into backtrack and I'm going to look for clean. Oh, down line. Refresh. <coughs> Alright, now let me look for clean. There you are. Okay. So you click clean. Alright. Now I'm gonna make it look like I'm having. I'm gonna make a conversation with him. So I'm gonna put, "Hey, what's up, bro?" Oh, nonchalant. Make it look like I, you know, I'm innocent. And then you're gonna go back into the windows. If you see here, oh, I just res I just said hi to him. You see it right here. Now I'm gonna be like, oh, um, he will basically say, "Hey, you know, nothing much. How about you?" Now I'm going to go back to myself and then he sent me go refresh because you need to refresh. He sent me, hey, nothing much, how about you? And I'll put um nothing and we'll put I'll put hey bro um check out this porn video I saw the best one I, I've ever seen in my life bam and see just saying that can get his attention and actually click it so you know whatever works whatever works. you use anything you can do and I'm gonna paste in the URL it's gonna ask you for security purposes to type in 
the um, the words. So then you type it in there. And now it shows up on his account. And I will put, I put okay, I'll, I'll see it. And then you click on it. And it's going to take you to this Facebook page. Now to them, they're going to you know log in because they're going to think it's on Facebook. So they're going to log in using their Facebook account. Um, so let's say it was um, Jping that one. And again, it's capital D, lowercase r, a j, 500. Bam. But it's just that, you know. Um, so I go back into my backtrack, refresh this again. Um, and then he's gonna think it just took me to his Facebook page, so he's gonna be like, I don't see it. And then I'm gonna say, refresh that. And then I'm gonna say, oh, I probably didn't work, you know, and respond to that. Now, if you go to your terminal, not that one. This one, look. Bam, 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 bam. Their email and their password, and it's all yours. So you got asked. You have their email to go and and their password to go into their Facebook account, and you can do all the damage you want, all the damage you want. So there you go. Okay, guys. Now I'll be showing you. The, my second method and the last method of using Facebook to to hack. Uh, now in this method, I'm gonna be you know doing two ways. You can basically access information on someone's computer using this hack, and also you can also access someone's computer using this hack. So you know, I'm getting goosebumps already. So then to do this, you let me close this so you can start over. All right, so then. You know, open uh, applications, go to backtrack tab, exploitation tools, and social engineering tools, and social engineering toolkit, and then click set. Now, here, you're going to be clicking, typing one for social engineering attacks, and then you're going to type in two for website attack ve vectors, and then one for Java app attack method, and then two for site cloner. Now I'm going to be asking you is you to use NAT port forwarding. Um, put no. And the IP address for the reverse connection is your IP address. So 192.168.72.128. The same one we've been using. You type, you click enter, and enter the URL to clone. So then you type in http colon slash slash www.facebook.com. <clears throat> now here, um, you're gonna be typing two for payloads. Now this payload you're gonna be accessing is this one here: Windows Reverse TCP Metro Metro Predator. Um, that's the payload you're gonna be using. So after that, you you click, you type in enter. <coughs> then you type 16 for backdoor executable. All right. Then type enter. And then you put four. 443 because you want to listen to all the ports then you click enter and it may take a while because right now it's going to generate its PowerShell injection code so then I'm just going to wait until it loads <clears throat> Yawn. Yeah, it takes forever. But trust me, it's worth it in the end. <sighs> it 
This may take a few to load MSF. Yeah, right. This is not taking a few at all. It's liars, man. Liars. <coughs> Alright, here. When it says starting the payload handler, that means it is done and you can now, you know, try to hack try to hack someone's computer. Now let me open up my Facebook account and make a new make a new uh, first I'm gonna make a new tiny tiny URL link. So let me just do it all over again, tinyurl.com. And then I'm gonna type in 192. The, yeah, the same one basically, and make tiny URL. And then I'm gonna copy that. So right click, click copy, and now I'm gonna go into my Facebook account and look for Kaleem. So. Oops, there he is. Alright. Now I'm gonna put so let's say you show your new combo with him. So I'm gonna put Hey bro. Um let's say I'm gonna put um check out this link on I don't know, naked woman woman and then once it's sent let me go back into the other the other Facebook account oops I forgot to do that uh, let me send in the link Control V. Alright, now sent. And so I'm going to ask for that. M and T S I astronomical. Alright. Now let's go here and click on it. So as I click on it, oh, it's going to ask me to run this job application. So then, you know, um, basically, the user will accept it and then run it. Once he runs it, um, doesn't matter what he does here; um, it's already too late by then. You go, uh, go back into your backtrack, and then you go to root, not that one. You go here, and here it says interpreter session session opened. See, and then it says migrating. And successfully migrated. Okay, so then you click enter, and now just we are trying to access their computer. So then what you do here is you know type in sessions. And you see all the sessions that are opened. Um, then you type in sessions negative i, sorry negative i and one, and then you will see here starting interaction. Alright, and then here, let's say you want to know what type of operating system they're using. So this is how you're going to start getting information from uh, of their computer, like what operating system they're using, what service pack, uh, and stuff like that. So you type in sys info. Oh, look at that! You got their computer name, you got their operating system, and what service pack they're using. You also know what type of bit of uh, bit using, 64 bit. And see, just from access access to someone's Facebook and sending a link to Facebook, like you get this all this information about someone's computer. Now, let's do more more damage. Let's actually hack into the computer. So let's type in run VNC. After this, it's going to say executing blah blah blah. And now here, let me do that as you see the screen changes to to Facebook see it here 
it's um but right now since I'm using both backtrack and Windows operating system, that's why it's kinda like messed up right now. And I can't really show you, but um, um pretend that you know once you access someone's computer, you can basically you know mess up mess up their whole computer, delete files, you can you can um you know destroy someone's computer because right now I have access to this guy's operating system I can do whatever I want with with it all right so I'm just letting you guys know um you know uh, about this method is really dangerous so you know just be careful when you're gonna use it um so then to get out of this you have to go to the terminal and then Alt F4 and then I'm back to normal and then you don't have that anymore all right okay so basically to conclude this whole video is basically I'm just telling you to trust those you believe are, should be trustable uh, if it, if a certain link that certainly sends you um, requires login don't log in because you don't know what might be happening to the other end uh, and then if it's it, just tell a person that it just didn't work and that way um, they believe it and then they believe you at least tried and you actually didn't try it so this is just to to um, you know prevent those things to happen and of course like I said also this is just added information like don't just don't trust spam emails because you don't know um, what you know like people can actually actually send stuff through that through emails and you know, also mess up your your Facebook and other information through email. So this is not just a Facebook messenger, this is also Facebook, it's also through emails as well. So then you know. Bye everyone. I hope you guys learned a lot. So uh hit me up if you want to know more information about it. And you know, just let me know. Alright. Bye.